Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. It is great to have you here as usual. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at today's community ships. We're bringing in a couple, and they are very cool looking. Uh, let me just show you guys really quick here. Let's load her on up. Uh, let's see, where are they? That's the, Okay, so here's the first one. Let me get a little bit higher in the air. It is called the 3C Dacrin. Dacrin. This is such a cool looking ship. It is uh, about 30 blocks over that 1500 limit, and I'm okay with that. Check this out. Look at this crazy looking thing. Hang on, let's get build mode on this. Look at this. How cool is this looking? Oh, I just, I absolutely love the look of this. It just has a, it's just so cool looking. My goodness. Hang on. All right, there we go. Sorry, I had to adjust my mic there. So yeah, this is the, the uh, 3C Docker, and as you can see here, it just has four cannons. And uh, that is pretty much it. But I love the look. And uh, that thing, it, it shoots crazy fast. It has a just a massive RPM on those cannons. And uh, let's see, the other ship we're bringing in, it kind of has a derpy flight pattern. I don't know if you noticed that. The other one we're bringing in is called the Wildcat Speedboat with flares. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this one has flares. It's got our flag, look at that. Oh, I love it. No longer is it the uh, Santa Claus. This is a hydrofoil craft, which I, I found the build to be very interesting. It's got also, both of these have a very derpy travel pattern, I guess you'll call it. You can see here, it just floats on top of those hydrofoils, use some jets to keep it stable and turn. And uh, it features uh, three missiles on the top and three flares right in the middle. And rams on the front, just in case we get a sweet ramming situation. Alright, let's hop back into the game here. Bada bing bada boom! We have arrived! So let me give you guys an update on what I've done. First off, I've moved all of our captured forces over here. I know, uh, you know, we've done that before, but we've got our captured forces fleet, and then we've got the... another fleet over here with just four more captured forces, and I took over these squares. I actually used our, our captured vehement seekers to take over the vehement seekers. It was a... sort of like an inception type situation going on there. I actually couldn't tell what was going on on the screen. If you have the interface off, all the ships look the same. Uh, so, we have brought in a 1-3C Dockerin and two Wildcat uh, speedboats with flares. Don't forget, with flares. So we have these in a fleet. We also brought in a new retrofit version of the Samurai Sled. Remember we tried that a couple times and missiles kept taking us out. Well, this one uh, has, has some anti-missile defenses, so I thought we're going to try this again. For sure, and uh, let's see, we got the Yolkingdale repaired up, and we retrofitted the Night Stalkers. These now have a nice nice little upgraded version. They they deploy balloons to get out of the water, and overall just a better, better build, better variant. So what I wanted to do is take, let's see, I want to find out where that fortress is. We gotta, we gotta go check really quick here. Remember, it was down here, and uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't see the fortress anymore, so... Let's go look. Fortress? Fortress, where art thou? Oh, there it is. That's right. It's right down there. Okay. <laughs> there it is. There be the fortress. Let's move this heli radar, like, right down here. I also built three more heli radars. One, two, three. Yep. Counting is one of my fortes, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, let's get the samurai sled. Let's, uh, let's start prepping the fleets here. We're going to bring the Samurai Sled. We're going to bring our, our new fleet here. We're going to call it the, uh... Hmm. The Dacrinian Deluxe Craft Macaroni Fleet. Just because I'm craving macaroni right now, that's really, like, the only reason. And you know what? We'll bring down the, uh, the Ursine and the Needlefish. Now, I have noticed, uh... The, the ships were fighting. Like, for instance, I, I finally got to see a new ship off camera called the Ire. And that thing took out the Ursine in, in just a couple hits. If I hadn't had my character in there, we would have lost that, that ship really quick. So we're definitely starting to fight some bigger forces. Oh, and by the way, I just wanted to throw this out there. Uh, I am no longer taking small ships. We still have about 20, 20 maybe 15 small ships we can bring in. And uh, by the time, you know, we get through those, we're going to be... We're going to be dealing with some much harder forces, I believe. So, uh, I'm, I'm putting a halt on the ship submissions for now. And uh, once we beat the Vehement Seekers, we will open them back up for a little bit larger ships. I'll give you guys some details on that. But it'll probably be something where they need to be like at least 1,500 blocks or, or maybe at least 
300,000 RP, something like that. Uh, just bigger, beefier versions, you know? Okay, so anyways, we're going to have a couple things to fight here. Let's go ahead and bring all these down. And we're going to go for the fortress. This is great because the fortress is winding up a fleet. It's at 21 strength. You can see that at the bottom right. See the strength, how it, it slowly ticks up. Essentially, once it hits 40, that's when fortresses send out fleets. I believe it's at 40. Now we have two battle icons. I don't know what we're going to be dealing with. I just don't know. Here we go. All right. This is going to be so great. Let's get our fleets. I'm ready for this. Let me execute a save really quick. I, uh, I did try upgrading to the latest version of the campaign, uh, to version 8.1, and I was getting some crashes, and uh, and then I rolled back, and and things seemed to be okay. So we're going to hold off on, on uh, <clears throat> upgrading, but I'm always worried about crashing still, even though it hasn't happened as much, you know? All right, let's do this. Oops. I'd like to get both of them. There we go. I bet we're going to bring the fortress in and possibly some ships. What do we got? What do we got? Beelzebub and the Aversion Harbor. Oh, baby. Yeah, okay. So let's get the... We're going to definitely get all of our ships. There's no doubt about it. I want to make sure the Samurai Sled, which is number four, I want to make sure I, once again, come from the back. I want to make sure our other ships are the ones that take the hit. So we're going to move a Wildcat. We're going to come in like so. The Earth Sign's going to come in from yonder. Uh, Needlefish, you're looking good right there. And this guy is going to come in from up here. Perfect. And we're going to be sitting in the Samurai Sled. Let's do it. I'm stoked. We got all of our ships. We're in the new Samurai Sled. It's nighttime. Excellent. I never would have suspected. All right, here we go. We're cruising. Ooh, look at us. We are cruising. Yep, get the missiles firing. That's just wonderful. I don't know what's over there, but by golly, are we going to run into it? You can see. It's kind of hard to see, actually. The, uh, the thir oh no, we got missiles coming at us. Juke! Yeah, I was going to say, the 3C three, the three Dockard, I'm just going to call it the Dockard. It, uh, the, the amount of just shells that come out of that thing are crazy. All right, here we go. We're making some progress. Okay. I'm seeing some explosions. Something's already dead. All I want to do is get over. Oh, man. F flapping Sacagawea. What in the world? Well, ladies and gents, that's just never going to happen. Let's see. Oh, look. We got some new ships. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Becky. Look at that ship's butt. All right, well, maybe the Samurai Sled. Where'd it go? Surely, that's not the Samurai Sled. Where's... Is this the Samurai Sled? Nope, that's our, uh, our Earth sign. Oh, my God. We... We are not doing so hot. I'm gonna try to take this ship over. Hang on. No. I need a ship to uh, warp to. Here we go. Jump off. Get out of there. Here he is. I don't know what this is, but I want it. Oh, I, ooh. I don't know what this is, but I want it. Interface off. This, gotta turn my speakers down. Wow. Holy smokes, what is this thing? It's beautiful. We're up on the deck. Jets be gone. Wow, that, do we just have like a, just a glorious little entrance we could get into maybe? Let's just get down here. Look at this thing. It is huge. Let's go Let's go see. Where could... Oh my gosh. Where could the uh, AI stuff be, I wonder? These are the questions. A lot of ammo barrels back there. Tons of ammo processors. Engine. Okay, the engine is under that top part. I thought I may have saw some AI components there. Hmm. Well, this could be very difficult. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get into this uh, and, and find the, the mainframe in time, is what I'm saying. All right, let's just keep going. Let's just keep on going. Work our way in, baby. Let me up. I'm having problems. Here we go. Let's try it. I'll, I'll do my little trick where I can rotate between weapons really quick. 
We'll just get rid of these wood blocks. All right. Oh god, I'm almost dead. See, okay, now I will say this really complicates finding a mainframe. Like when your when your screen is covered with oil, I can't find much. But uh, I will wreck some of these missile launchers. Let's see how our health is doing. We're not doing so hot, ladies and gentlemen. The 3C Dockerin is completely down for the count. We're gonna have to uh, get a better look at those. You guys definitely gotta see it in action. The cannons are crazy. We just had to try the samurai sled again. Unfortunately, it's just not gonna happen. The uh, It's not fast enough, and the enemies just have too much going on. All right, let's go under the floor. Oh, killed myself. <laughs> Dang it. Golly. So we've still got our wildcats down there, and there's the uh, the fortress way over there. I am determined to get this. Where? You know what? Let's just go find out what this is called really quick. Oh, that's the Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Wow. Look at this thing. So, you know, the colors, though, it, they just remind me so much of McDonald's. It's like Ronald McDonald. All right, let's get the interface on. I'm going to work my way back over to the Beelzebub. We're going to try to capture it. It's going to happen. I'm going to get it. It is so far. Actually, you know, we might not get a chance to. All we have is the needlefish. <clears throat> so if that, if the needlefish gets blown up, which it is right down here, uh, you can't really see it. It's clipping a little bit, but yeah, I believe we will get taken out of the battle if that gets blown up. So the Beelzebub is firing many torpedoes. Many, many, many torpedoes. Our needlefish is down to 88%. So, we're going to have to make this happen pretty quick. I don't know if it is. And uh, I, I just cannot seem to catch up to the Beelzebub. I just cannot get over to it. It is... It's just... it. It's fast. It's it's just a little bit quicker than me. Uh, I'll try a little bit more, though. Uh, oh, the Needlefish is down to 44%. Oh, needle... Okay. Well. <laughs> All right. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we just got so wrecked. Wow. Uh, can we enact heal mode on these guys? Does that even work? No. No, it sure doesn't. <laughs> when they're already dead, you cannot heal them. All right, we'll bring over the bigger fleet and the Yolkingdale. Maybe the Yolkingdale can heal. Let's find out. It can. Cool. Cool, cool. All right, let's try this again. We're going to heal up. We've got the our bigger fleet on the way. Sadly, it, oh, it only travels at three meters a second all of a sudden. Weird. This used to be able to go around 14, but... Yeah, that's very strange, because all of our ships fly... Oh, it's probably these Night Stalkers. Yep, yep, Night Stalkers. All right. All right, so let's get the rest of these healed. Um, not the Samurai Slayer. We're not going to try that one again. But we will take a look at these ships. We're going to do a take two, ladies and gents. Once these are healed up, we'll bring the same ships over. And we are going to make this happen. While we move the main fleet up, it'll be our backup, just in case. we got to take this fortress out. It's going to happen. Golly howdy. Look at this. We've already carved out a really nice swath, though. We're making some pretty good progress. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Here we go. Uh, just about healed up. Let's see. Uh, the Dockrin's going to take the longest. And there we are. And we are definitely going to try to take over that Beelzebub again. So let's get the Yolkingdale. Wee! Back out of there. And let's try this again. I'm ready. I'm so ready. Here we go. All right. Take 17. In fact, oh, we can just do one at a time. Look at that. All right. We're just going to be going up against the Beals above at 90% health. Uh, we've got all of our ships. I think everything looks good. Let's just begin the battle. I will set my character down here on the Ur sign. What's going on? Why is nobody moving? Okay. There we go. All right. This time we're going to take a look at some of these community ships. We just had to give. No! No! Look at this. Look at this thing shooting. It's crazy. Let's get over here, see if we can see some of this hitting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here it comes. There's no way this thing is going to survive this initial blast. Oh, there goes one of the wings. It is coming in hot and heavy, though. Oh, he's getting hit. Who's this guy? You son of a gun. Yeah, eat those missiles. Eat them. 
All right, well, the Dockrin is down for the count. It looks like the Beals above was just a little bit too much. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's see how our other ships are faring here. There are the Wildcats, trying it for a second time. Here comes the Ursine. He's like, I'm back in business, baby. I absolutely want to try to get over there again. No doubt in my mind. Let's go ahead and try that. Uh, oh, you know what? There's no way to get out of the Ursine. So, let's get into the Needlefish. I know the Needlefish has, like, a, a little submarine door. Boop! Okay, there we go. <laughs> How did I never see that before? I'm just oblivious. It's ridiculous. All right, Beelzebub. I have no idea where your mainframe is. I'm going to go right through the back. It looks like it's open. Yes, it is! Come on, Scrope. Don't die. Get down there. I'm stuck on the roof. Ammo barrels. This is my favorite. Oh, yes. Eat it. Eat my bullets all day long. Blowing up your ammo barrels while I sing my song. Uh, ammo processors. No need to worry about those. Ah, some repair bots. A little pump. Pumps are for noobs. Let's go ahead and take out the repair bots, right? Like... Take these babies out. He's not going to be repairing much. I guess if I just took it over, though, then they would be my repair bots. Local weapon controller. Homie, don't play that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's, uh, let's look around here. Let's go up a level. Where, where could the mainframe be? It's not in this back compartment. Getting a little bit of lag every now and then. Oh, it's got two engine compartments. Very cool. Okay, and then we're up, and now we're near the front. It's got to be hidden. I'm going to look around for a bit. Oh, it's like a party over here. Look what's happened. The Wildcats have apparently been trying to just ram the Beelzebub, and I've been on the inside of this ship just blowing everything up, just going crazy, uh, unable to find the mainframe. I am positive the mainframe is embedded somewhere in here very sneakily, or I've looked at it like 12 times and it's been right in front of me. It's one of those. That's, I mean, that's what it's got to be. I'm just, I'm still looking around. It's even harder for me when blocks are colored. Like, if you don't want me to see a block, just give it a different color than default. I'll be guaranteed to miss it. Okay. My God. Where could it be? I'm going to keep looking for a bit. Although, we are really starting to hurt this ship. Oh, it could be like in the wings. Hang on. Jeez, these wings are packing. You know what? When in doubt, here's what we're going to do. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't die. Oh, I was going to say, I'll just cut the wings off. Give me a moment. I'm so doing that. Oh, no. It's too damaged. I thought you could capture a craft if it was too damaged. Uh, I guess that has changed. Oh, what a bummer. I, f I freaking... Where are you, mainframe? Who built this ship? Gosh darn it. Ugh, I could not find the mainframe. Those are my ships. Don't shoot them, Scrooge. All right, well, we did not get the Beals above, unfortunately. But we do have uh, this other enemy. This is great. We still got the actual fortress itself. So let's hop, in high, uh, hop inside this wildcat. Wow, it is juking really hard. Let's see what this is. Oh, do I even want to look for the mainframe in here? I feel like it's just, it's not my calling card. You know, everybody has like a specialty that they're good at. For me, definitely not finding a mainframe. Uh, and this thing is already just, oh wow, look at this. It's really going down quick. What the? Wow, we're doing it. Goodbye, vehement seekers. Yes. Wildcats, you have survived. Tried and true, my friends. All right. Wow, well, that was a little ridiculous. I absolutely was not able to capture that Beelzebub. Man, I am going to have to load that up into the uh, vehicle designer and just take a look around and see where I was missing it because, wow, I just... Unbelievable. Anyways, ladies and gents, we're going to stop this episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out. It's been great having you here. We are ready to move on to a new faction. I will clean up these last couple vehement seeker squares. The question is, who do we want to go for? I want to make sure we, we kind of take things in progression, like 
you know, I don't want to go for like a, a crazy hard enemy right off the bat, but you know, we've essentially here are our options. The Dark Angels, the Tsunami Genesis, or the Valiant Hydras. I think one of these three. These appear to be next. I just don't know which one. I'll be thinking about it, but let me know in the comments if you, you know, uh, just have an idea that uh, for, for what faction we want to go for next, and especially if you know a little bit about the factions or, or anything like that, that'd be great. We have a good bit of resources here, and we still have, like I said, a lot of community ships to bring in in the small category. So we're going to clear that queue out, and uh, I will announce once I, I start taking ships again, so definitely look forward to that. We'll be moving up in category there in size. So anyways, ladies and gents, hope you all have an absolutely great day. Take it easy and stay classy.